Welcome to Hello Self. It's a podcast focused on turning your cans into cans and your dreams into plans. I am your host, coach, and author, Patricia Leonard. Patricia Leonard, and I'll be your host for all the episodes that we'll be producing. I'm so excited that you're here today because I've got a guest that you're going to learn a lot from. You know, I have a lot of clients that say to me, how do I, how do I get started? What is Hello Self? You talk about these Hello Self nudges. How do I get started if I do get a nudge? And After all, what is a hello self-nudge? It won't be the same for everybody, but what it's about is you feel a pull towards something and you decide to explore it. I always say that the mission of Hello Self Podcast is to help you turn your can'ts into cans and your dreams into plans. That means you have to get those goals and dreams off that someday shelf and start doing something now. You know, um, I had a hello self moment. I want to give you an example, and my guest will share some of her own today. But I had a hello self moment yesterday, and I felt like this morning it was the perfect, the perfect thing to help you understand what I'm talking about. I went to a movie yesterday. It's Mrs. Harris Goes to Paris. And I, it was funny because I got up and got je- dressed to go to the gym. But in the middle of my putting my gym clothes on, I thought, I want to see that movie. Didn't invite anybody else, just went myself. But I got online to see if there were seats available in my gym clothes. I got a seat and I went to the movie. Now, while I was in the movie, there was a lady sat down beside me and the movie started and she had her popcorn and her candy and whatever else she was um, getting ready for uh, to make herself comfortable. And um, I was just settling back and all of a sudden something fell off of her tray and fell on my leg and it was what it was some of her goodies and she turned to me and she said oh I am so sorry I didn't mean to do that and I said I know you didn't mean to do that but do you have a napkin that I could wipe it up (laughs) (laughs) so she did but here's the hello self And I know you've had these yourself. All through the movie, I kept feeling like that I should say something to her at the end of the movie, at the end of the film. And I thought, what am I going to say? But in asking that question to myself, I said, just introduce yourself and give her a business card. So at the end of the movie, after everybody walked out, I tapped her on the arm and I said, I have to tell you something. I know you didn't mean to do that. And I felt the sincerity in your comment to me. And I really had to tell you that I don't know why, but I want to offer you my business card. I don't have any purpose behind it. Yes, I am a coach, but I'm not soliciting business here. I just had this feeling that I should give it to you. So you can do whatever you want. If you want to link up with me on LinkedIn or Facebook or somehow just uh, take it and see what happens. And that is uh, one of my books that I just finished and just got out on Amazon. It's Hello Self. So if you want to see more about me, you can go to my website or you can look at the little note under the book. But I handed my business card to her. And she started crying. And I said, "Uh, are you okay? She said, yes. I said, well, what do you do for a living? I said, that's one of my coaches, coaching questions. And she said, I'm out of a job right now. And 
she said, and I'm going to babysit my granddaughter. And all I said to her is, don't forget you. And she burst into tears again. And I said, I'm not here to make you cry. I said, I am just here as, the, as a hello self woman, right. because we all have to wake up at some point and realize. And I said, maybe, maybe this will touch you in some way that'll help you say, I'm going to take some of my dreams off that hello self and start my own direction. But whatever you do is your business. And I said, it's so nice to meet you. And I walked off. Now, do mm -hmm. I know where that's going? But I know that I need to follow through. We all have these hello self moments. And I tell my clients these, but we kiss them off. Oh, that was just an accident. Or meeting you was just a, a um, oh, I don't know. It's just an accident. This is exactly how I met Tiffany. We were at a pre and post production workshop for filmmaking, docu documentaries, TV. And um, I had met her briefly through women in film and television uh, as a member. And I had admired her style. Um, she's put together, pragmatic about um, the way she goes after stuff. And I just like her because she pays attention to the leads of her heart, of her soul, or people around her that she trusts a lot. She, 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 she seems that kind of a woman. Now, I'm still learning a lot more about Tiffany, and I am really anxious to hear her story today because I'm sure I will learn more. And one of the things that I want to say to you is pay attention to what she is saying, because I think it has taken her on this journey because she knows how to pay attention. And we get distracted by all the people saying you couldn't do that. Or the society that advertises this is the thing for women. This is the thing if you're going to do this. And you have to follow your own heart. And right. that's what we're going to find out today. And you know what? I think it's about time that I turn this over to Tiffany and let her tell you her story. Because I believe that in every story, there are many gifts and endless glories. And get ready to grab them. Yes. Tiffany, take it from here. <laughs> well, hello, everybody. As she mentioned, my name is Tiffany Young. Um, I run my own um, production company um, called T Tiffany Young Productions. Um, we're changing the name to Pack House Studios, but right now um, it's still um, Tiffany Young Productions. And I also own um, my own photo booth company. Um, this is probably my, what is my eighth year? being in the um in the industry in this profession and i'm just i just keep going um i learn new new things every day um i've had many um ups many downs and i'm still going and i'm still steady um so that's kind of uh who i am um in a nutshell um yeah well tell me about some hello self moments that took you in the direction of film production. I mean, did you just come out of the womb and say, okay, I'm gonna do film or I'm, no, <laughs> tell me the story. <laughs> so so I, I've had, um, if I had to tell top of my head in my entire life, maybe four um, Hello Self moments. Um, the first one I didn't notice was a Hello Self moment until four or five years later. But when I realized it, I was like, that was the moment. Yes. So the first, I'm gonna start with the first one. I was in high school, um, maybe going um, to the 11th grade, I wanna say, or in the 11th grade, the, the, the winter. Um, Cause I remember digital cameras had just came out. You know, we stopped yes. using the portable and the little small digital cameras came out. Yes. And I, I don't know why I wanted one so bad. I, I just wanted a camera. So that's what I asked for, for Christmas. So um, in high school, up until that point, you know, I was always on the sports path. I played all the sports, basketball, volleyball, baseball, any, any sports you can think of, I've done. And I've always been kind of active into clubs and you're just everything. So I thought, you know, 
that's that's my path. I'm going to go to college and be an athlete. Um, so w- once I got the camera um, in mid 11th grade, I just started taking my camera to school every day and just walk around taking pictures. Like y'all locker time in between classes, we just take pictures. All of our um, events, we take part. Like I just, I was always had the camera. Um, so then senior year comes, I become the, the senior class president, but I also um, became the um, historian. So for the entire year, we're doing all of these, you know, senior events, senior games, senior lock-in, senior breakfast. I was the one who's taking the pictures. It just came a point where everybody's expecting me. I don't know Tiffany's going to have her camera. So <laughs> we're good. Um, so that was a hello self moment when I got the digital camera. But at that time, I didn't know. So I just go on. Um, I have a, a, a family history of working in health. Um, have a lot of, you know, medical assistants. My mom's an EMT. And my mom's been working in the hospital since I was eight. So I've kind of like been around. Of course, what you see is what you want to do. So I was like, I'm going to college. I'm going to be a nurse. So I go to college. <laughs> I go to college, MTSU. I'm a nursing major. Um, I don't hate it. I didn't, I didn't hate it. Um, it's just, I don't know. I didn't know what the feeling was of why I wasn't, I, I don't know. I can't even put into word yeah. what it was about what I was doing in college. So of course time goes on um, and um, I join a, a sorority and each sorority have like a promotional week. And for that promotional week, we shot a promotional video. And it was like ran like a set, a film set. And that feeling, I had never, I didn't, another unexplainable feeling. I was like, I don't know what what this is, but I want to do this again. And I want to do it every day. So by this time, it's my junior year again in college. So, um, of course, I go to my mom and, and talk to her. And, you know, I'm thinking about, you know, I want to change my mind, change my major. Mind you, I'm a junior now. <laughs> I want to change my major to something, video, communication, something. And you got to think about during that time, social media wasn't as booming as it is now. Content creation and, you know, photography and video. From where I come from, that stuff is like TV stuff. So, so she was just, she wasn't against it, but she wasn't really for it because she didn't technically understand, like, what kind of job are you going to be able to get when you graduate? How are you going to be able to make money? So with that, I just finished. I didn't, I didn't change it because, you know, fear came in. Um, But the next, but the next semester, um, this is senior year. This is my first senior year. I had to. (laughs) <laughs> they say take as long as you need so um I got a <laughs> refund check <laughs> I got a refund check and I went and bought a camera didn't know what to do with it I had no idea um how to work it at all it was like a five I think I paid like 500 and some change for it um so I just started figuring it out like everywhere on campus everyone in the class I'm going to the KC I have my camera recording my friends. Say, say something. Let's do something. Let's let's do this. Let's do that. So um, that was that. Um, that was my second Hello Self moment yeah. when we shot the video and when I bought the camera. The third Hello Self moment, um, this is a little bit after the camera. Um, I kind of got to a point in my life where I was dark. Um, I was angry all the time. Mm. And I didn't know why I was so angry. And I just always so frustrated just at everything. Of course, it's again time to, you know, switch over from college to young adulthood. So of course, I knew, <laughs> right, life started really, this, okay, college fun is kind of over. Real life is starting to kick in. So I, I really struggled um, with that. So I started, and I knew God just from my upbringing, but, and I would go to church on Sundays in college, but it's a difference between knowing God and having a relationship. Ah, yes. So I um I got to the point where I was crying all the time. I hated my job. I hated going to class. It was just, oh, I just hated everything. I was just so angry for months. So I started going to Bible study. They had college um, Bible study at the church that I joined. And 
and Bible study, you know, I'm, um, they call me the most popular introverted, introverted person <laughs> in, in the world, um, <laughs> in the world. So like, I will always be this big personality in this big energy, but I was always silent. I never really use my voice for real. Cause I kind of, I'm, I'm my only child. So I kind of, you know, I'm kind of shy to a certain extent. So when I, when I'm not spoken to, I don't speak. Mm. So um, sitting in Bible study, this is weeks and weeks. And it's kind of like the same group who comes and we just talk and, you know, we learning about God and learning who God is. And it just one day I spoke up and I was just like, I understand, um, you know, all the things, teachings that you, you know, giving all of these mechanisms to practice once, you know, life hits us and how we include God. But right now, how I'm feeling and I started crying. I wasn't expecting the tears yeah. and I started crying as I was just sharing my story with the group and it's like I understand all of this but I feel this way right now I'm so sad every day I cry I hate going to class I hate going to school and I'm tired I'm, I'm tired what do I do next so of course you know the um the uh preacher um who's of our class definitely gave us you know advice and me being in my own world, just kind of more so talking to God and to the group, I just so happened to look up. Everybody in the room had tears in their eyes. Oh, yes. You were telling so your story. I was you were telling, telling every. Yes. I spoke it and yes. it was, I looked and I was just like, oh my God. So then the pa- the preacher noticed it. It was like, okay, well, we didn't got, let, let me pray for y'all, you know what I'm saying, in this season, and let me give y'all, let's, let's switch the whole lesson from what was planned to what y'all going through right now, so after class was over, everybody came up to me, it was literally a line for people who wanted to talk to me, and the stuff that they wanted to talk about was just like, you know, I've, I'm going through the same thing, and they just started telling me their, their stories or why they feel the same way that I feel, and it was a lot for me, <laughs> it was a lot to have it's kind of like once I said something they needed something from me and it was a lot and I was just like well maybe this is this is different this is another feeling maybe I should start using my voice interesting (laughs) hello self moment number three yes so with that I was like oh wow because at this after that it was a different feeling that I had just in my spirit, just in general, like, I just felt better, of course, things didn't get better overnight with school and job and life and all of that, but that day, I felt something, yes, so, um, I go on, I graduate from undergrad, um, I graduated in 2016, still very dark, um, but in between the hello self moment at church and graduating, it was very, very dark. I was very depressed. I barely went anywhere. I sat in my room in the dark. I cried. I threw stuff around. I broke stuff. I punched walls. Like this was um, probably a year, a year stretch of me being this dark. And in that darkness, um, I've never, that's one thing I want to tell everybody, no matter how dark you are, always talk to God. Even if you're mad at him, tell him you're mad at him. Yes. Yes. Just keep keep talking and keep telling him that I don't understand why my life is this way. I don't understand it. Um, I don't like it, but I know that you have a better a better cause for me. I know I'm going through this for a reason. And that's how I got through that first period of darkness. And during that period as well, I used to write all the time write my frustrations, how I'm feeling today, why I'm this sad, why did this make me mad? I, I documented all of that during that time. So after graduation, real, real life kicks in. So it's like no more class. Now I gotta pay rent. And you know, mom's <laughs> like, you, you're grown now. I'm giving you a cell phone bill next month. Rent is due. You got a car note. I'm paying bills. Amen, but- mom. <laughs> I'm paying bills. It's fresh. Like, this is a lot, like a lot for me. Meanwhile, I still hate what I'm doing. 
Like I'm working this job. Like I have this degree that I don't want to use. I don't even want to apply for a health education job. I don't want to do that. I know that I want to do that. So I just ended up um, picking up odd jobs here and there. Just in 2016, I quit seven jobs, if that means anything. <laughs> anything to survive, huh? <laughs> I quit seven jobs in 2016 after I graduated. And I kept, I just kept finding, I had to keep finding my way because I just knew that this, this isn't it. This can't be life. This can't be how I'm supposed to feel every day. I so agree. from 16 to 2018, that was kind of like my build period where I just started shadowing many people can I come can I come help you on your set today can I come do this you need help can I come sit in on an editing session during that time I'm just learning and then now I started getting my own clients and I'm okay I'm, I'm liking this like I like the way this feels but it still wasn't paying my bills enough it wasn't consistent enough to keep me living so then I went back and forth with the struggle from making a living and doing what I love another depression because now I'm battling, like I get this little piece of life of that I love and the majority of my life is what I don't love. So I'm just like, oh my God, like what, what is this? Depression number two. So then um, coming towards the um, mid-2018, I was like, I need to do something else because now video uh, is, is fulfilling me, but it's fulfilling me more than a regular job. But I, it's something that's still missing that I know that I can, that I need to figure out what it is. So during this time, um, I had a full-time job. Um, I was an accountant for an apartment complex. And it's just, I, I, I couldn't do that no more. So remember when I told you in the second Hello Self moments, in that dark depression, I wrote everything down. Yes. All of these feelings. All of, everything that I was going through, I had it all written down. So I took that and I wrote a script yes. from that. Um, not, you know, I don't know. I don't have any script writing experience. I took a Microsoft Word document and I just started writing, not knowing what I'm writing. I'm just writing from all of these feelings that I've had over the years. So then I was like, I probably wrote that in 2015. So now it's mid 2018. And that script just, it's just on me. It's just in my spirit. Like you need to go back to do, do, to do this, figure out what to do with this script. So hello self moment, what on number four or number three? One of them. No, it doesn't matter. Um, it's just a fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> so this is my next hello self moment. I registered for grad school, film school. Um, and I get in because I want to see this script. Why is this script? constantly keep popping up in my head yeah. so I'm gonna go to film school to see the script I want to see it come to life so that's 2018 so I get in class or whatever you think you know I got a background in video but video is it's not totally different from filmmaking but it is so I get this <clears throat> root of awakening and it's like that's a lot that I still don't know which is good now I'm in film school so, of course, um, I started taking screenwriting classes for the curriculum, and with the script, I couldn't get anyone to understand it. This is like the first year and a half of taking maybe two or three screenwriting classes, me constantly trying to develop this story and pitch it, but nobody ever got it. So it got to a point where now I'm in screenwriting too, and I have maybe two more semesters in the program. And I need to start working on my thesis so I can graduate. And I wanted this to be the story. Even I even had a professor tell me that maybe, you know, you should give this up. Mm. It, don't seem, it don't seem like this is, a, it don't seem like this is a story that, that can be told properly. We don't, we're, we're not getting it. No one, no one really understands it. So that was a blow to me because I came to film school to see this script. Yes. So, the next semester go by, um, but it was something about it that told me, don't give it up. Just keep working. Just keep trying. And I even got frustrated with God. I was like, God, why would you give me this script and put all this stuff in me to come to film school and do all this hard work, spend all this money, and I can't sell the story? Yeah, what, what is this? <laughs> what 
what is this? I'm confused. I'm so confused. <laughs> so then I just took seasons one day and some told me, um, I had wrote down a lot of Proverbs. Um, I was studying Proverbs in the Bible and I was just like writing just different Proverbs just down on paper. I just kept writing and kept writing it. So I took the proverb scripts that I wrote down is in the same notebook as all of my journals. And I look at my journals and I'm like, I need to connect these two. So once I connected it and rewrote, you know, the um, the outline to the story and the characters and changed the whole premise, I went back to, to school the next semester. This is what I'm presenting as my thesis project everybody understood it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hello self. I was sitting in class and I was just going over it, you know, showing my PowerPoint, showing my characters, what are these characters going to, going through, why is this story needed? And everybody was just quiet. I can just tell that everybody was just like, when I finished, it was like a silence. And everybody was like in deep thought, thinking of their own stuff comparing it to what I just did for my presentation yeah. so that was the first class so for the rest of the semester as we working on it you know we have turning in different with this part this part you know first part of the script second part of the script the more and more I wrote on it and the more and more I presented it was just like no matter age black white man woman everybody related and wanted to know they're like I want to binge watch it like when is it available I'm like well it's just a script right now <laughs> but hello self moment that I knew that that what I was working on that I wrote in 2015 now is 2019 and it's still it's needed that's my voice that I haven't been using yes and you know Tiffany it's even more needed today uh and this is your new television show is that that's coming out yes yes What's it, it called is again it's called, called seasons season and it's Yes, for anyone that's listening to this podcast can see that Tiffany has gone through many seasons and these are true for everybody. I don't, she just mentioned that it doesn't matter your culture, it doesn't matter your gender, it doesn't matter your age, it's for everybody. Stories are where life happens and she's creating a story out of her life that's going to touch or that has already touched many hearts. And you know, I think the thing is, and I believe this too, Tiffany, I'm so excited about your story. I got so involved in it. I just, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're such a great storyteller, but oh, thank um, you. yeah, you got the emotions, you got the reality, you've got the principles, you've got uh, approaches, tools. So I like that in that you gave us a lot. And the whole thing is you were waking people up. And that's what Hello Self is about, is for us to wake up. And you had many conversations with yourself. And that's what Hello Self is about, is mm -hmm. to have conversations with yourself and God, your higher power, or whatever is right for you as an individual. But you had those conversations. You talked about your frustration. You know, these are the things that our society does not do. That's why I have a coaching business, because people will not talk to themselves. They allow the external, not the internal, but the external to guide their um, to guide their life. And there are so, you know, I always say people are just surviving uh, in right. life and not thriving. I know that's a, an old cliche that's been used a lot, but it's very true. Your story, I don't care what age you are. I have people, just like at the show this uh, yesterday or the other day, it's just the woman was in midlife and she was feeling the same pressures that you're talking about. Who am I? What do I want to do now? And I think your journey is going to be a major, major lesson for people and I can I'm going to predict right now that seasons is going to be very successful number one 
because it is something that you have lived and it's not just a story. You live these moments. The second thing is our society globally is ready for all of this. Wouldn't you agree? Yes, I do. Yeah, I because do. we're in a time, we're in a major transition <clears throat> right now and seasons is a major transition kind of story. What would right. you, yeah, did you, go, were you gonna say something else? No. no. What would you tell our viewers today um, about if they get some kind of feeling? I loved what you said. You went to your mom and you said, I want to change my major. Now, for a young person to go to their parents, and that's not easy a lot of times because um, we want to take advantage. You went ahead and followed through and got that degree. However, right. yes, however, I there was a guy on, and I don't want to take this over, but there was a man receiving, um, and I don't know if it was an Oscar or Emmy or what, but it was a big award, and I remember so clearly, he said to the audience, when I went to college, I wanted to go to film and acting school, but he said, my mom and dad said, get an accounting degree because that'll give you a good job. Now, here he is receiving a top award for his performance, and he said, here's one lesson I have for everybody listening. Follow your heart. Don't right. do what you think is right unless you're, you feel it in your spirit and your heart. So what mm -hmm. is a one or two or whatever you want to share? Um, um, I, I want to say... Um, magic moments, or what would you tell somebody if they're trying to decide whether to do this or trying to decide who they are, or what would you tell them about your, from your own journey about themselves and what to do? What would be your um, advice to them? For one, my first thing would be um, finding yourself is a lifelong journey. Mm. I feel like um like in seasons you are different you are a different person in your different seasons so you have to figure out who you are in whatever season that you're in How profound. Um, yes that's my first um thing for uh, that's my first advice for for you guys like that's the biggest thing you always reinvent yourself always evolve just always continue to grow because when you get stagnant no matter how successful you are, if you are not happy, no matter how much money, any of that, if you're not fulfilled in what you're doing, none of it matters. So just keep reinventing and keep finding what you love because it changes throughout the seasons. Yes, um, your first 15 years at the job, you loved it. But on that 16th year, if you constantly find yourself in agony and not want to go and hating being there and crying, that means it's time for a change. You need to pay attention to the seasons change. That's my best advice. Like, cause they're gonna change. So you just really have to pay attention because you will get stuck in one season and you should be in another. And nobody, yeah. that's not a good, that's not a good feeling. It's not a good feeling at all. So that's that's my best advice. Yeah, I think it's a fabulous piece of advice is just sit down and have a conversation with yourself and say, are you happy? Huh? Are you happy? You need to yes. have you need to have breaks where you you know how like when you're at work, you yes. get maybe every year you get an evaluation where you sit down with the boss and you talk about what you did good in, what you didn't do good in. You need to have an evaluation with yourself every year. I love that idea. An evaluation <laughs> with yourself. Sit down and just ask yourself, is do you feel fulfilled? Does this feel do like feel your passion? Fulfilled? And you know another thing that you said, Tiffany, that I absolutely love, that life is a lifelong journey. Our journey is a lifelong. So just because we knew who we were yesterday doesn't mean that today we get up and we may not see another aspect of ourselves that we hadn't seen yesterday. And so right. it is constantly 
paying attention and awareness. And that's exactly what Hello Self, my, my book is about, and this podcast is about, is the advice that Tiffany just gave. And keep watching because her seasons show, it's a television show, right? It is. Well, do you have some things coming out about it now? And how could they get a hold of you if they want to talk more or if they want to be part of or anything about you if from a connection standpoint now? Yes, um, we've been working on seasons for several years now. We're finally getting um, a whole lot of progress. Um, the website will be ready next month. Um, we have a social media, a Facebook and Instagram. So on Instagram, follow stream.seasons, stream.seasons. Um, right now we have a whole lot. Um, we have a promotion up, casting and crew, getting to know us, um, behind the scenes things. Um, we're going to drop a crowdfunding soon. So we need you guys to support. Yeah, um, don't forget, gotta, watch for yeah. this crowdfunding. Yes, and the website will be streamseasons.com. Um, we're going to go live. But I'll keep you guys, keep following the social media to let you know when the website drops. When the website drops, you'll have all the information that you need to see everything that we have been doing in these years, um, just to keep track. Because it's coming. I keep speaking it to myself. See, this will be here in 2023. She we just will have. Gave, oh, she just gave you another piece of advice right there in her own marketing is speak it out loud to yourself because the subconscious believes what we tell it to do. It's only yes. the mental mind that says, oh, that would be too big of a hurdle. No, speak it to yourself and make it real. Oh, my gosh. That's another fabulous piece of advice. If you don't know what you want to do, uh, figure out something you'd like to do and get out there and start doing it and speak it out loud to yourself. I love this. Out loud. Oh, yes. Tiffany, oh my God. Is there anything else you want to say in closing to our audience? Um, yes, um, I do all types of work. Um, I'm really going for the movie sets. Now, I've, I've, I'm a corporate videographer. I shoot all type of corporate videos, promotion and marketing, but I'm branching into, um, I'm about to start working on a new film that's being sh uh, shot in Nashville for the next six weeks. So if you guys need any help, any set, I'll play any role, um, reach out to me. Um, my email address is typroductions, the number 14 at gmail.com. I can do anything behind the scenes, PA, whatever you need me to do on a film set, I'm there. Because I just want to be in the room, in the energy, learning and learning and learning and keep learning more. So when it's time, when it's my time, I have all the tools. So Fantastic. that's um. That's kind of me, uh, who I am and what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, please just out of all things, if you remember anything I said, remember seasons, this season is coming and we all live through seasons and we all go through seasons. But if you speak and you believe everything you want, you can have. Absolutely. Well said. I watched her in motion, in action. And I can tell you everything that she's saying today I witnessed before I really knew who she was. So I just want to say to everybody listening today, I know that you have gathered something from this story that's motivated you to take the next steps in your life. Pay attention to those hello self moments. And I am here to help you through coaching, through speaking engagements, and help you move forward. That is my whole goal as a coach and as a podcaster is giving you opportunities to live your life and dream your dreams. I can be reached at patricialeonard.net and my website is patricialeonard.net. So until the next time, thank you for tuning in to Hello Self Podcast and we'll bring more great speakers and maybe even have Tiffany back after seasons goes yes. live. Yes. Thank yes. you so Absolutely. much. You're Have welcome. Have a great day. We love you. All right. Love you guys too. <laughs> Be strong, guys. Stay strong. Thank you for joining Hello Self today. And may it offer insight and inspire you to stay on your runway to success. Like, share, and subscribe. And remember this. Keep dreaming.